Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and this is episode 4 of how to become an entertainer abroad. In this episode we're going to have a look at how you can move abroad in a bite-sized way with no major commitments and so see if you are ready to move abroad more permanently. Before we get going don't forget to subscribe and like. Let's go! Let's get stuck into another episode then guys. Travelling always scared me and especially moving abroad really daunted me but it's something I always really wanted to do. I started travelling when I was 15 years old, going all around the world with my grandma. Even with all my travelling experience, moving abroad is a completely different thing. You're on your own, especially when I went to the Bahamas, it's a one-way flight. There's no going back. I mentioned in my last video that I was a shot girl in Mallorca. Today I'm going to elaborate more on this guys. This experience was a real stepping stone for me before I moved to the Bahamas. One, Mallorca is pretty close to England, where I'm from. And two, it wasn't a proper job, as I will explain. As well as all the agencies that I've already recommended to you guys for more permanent entertainer and hotel jobs, there are also companies that will help you go abroad for a working holiday just for the summer or for a season. These type of companies will help sort out your accommodation, prepare you a job before you go or when you arrive you can get to used to your surroundings and then get a job. This is great especially for all the party islands in Europe. You've probably heard of Ibiza, Mallorca, all the islands in Greece. These are great places to work and also have fun and party. The company I used was called Ace Working Holidays and I'll put the link in the description. This company is great. They make moving so simple. You get to choose your time, how long you want to stay abroad. You sort your accommodation. You get to choose which island you want to go to. And they help you every step of the process. Even before we went, they put you in a Facebook group before you go and then a further WhatsApp group to see who you are actually going to be living with. Before you even arrive on the island, you can also always make contacts with some of the employers and Ace Working Holidays will help you do that too. Also, technically you don't have to work, although it's kind of good to have money. <laughs> the way I played it was I went for one month in total, but the first week I just kind of settled in went to the clubs, the bars, and just enjoyed myself. It was my 21st birthday, so it went a bit crazy. And then I kind of got a feel for what the clubs and what the bars I liked. Basically, all the party islands, they have a strip. A strip of clubs, bars, restaurants, everything. All the social activities you can think of. They're the perfect place to party, but also the easiest place to find jobs. They always need more employees. The way to get a job is most easily done by asking. The best way to do this is to go down the strip of all the clubs around 8, 9 p.m. when they are just opening but they're not busy. Dress the part, look nice, depending on what job you're going for, as I'll go through later, dress differently. Go down the strip around 9 p.m. and just inquire, go to the bar, the restaurant and ask for the manager. Manager comes out, just ask, have you got any vacancies going? Bam, if they have, they'll probably give you a job trial that night. Hence, you need to look the part. After the job trial, they'll be pretty blunt whether you get it or not. And bam, you got a job. Let's go through the types of jobs you can do then. I was a shot girl, obviously. Then you've got things like glass collectors, bar staff, waiters, waitresses. You can be a host. A host is basically someone that stands outside the club or the restaurant and will invite you in and take you in and show you around. For example, in Magaluf, there's like a square which has a variety of different bars and they have hosts standing outside. And then you can basically take people around and just point them in the right direction. Say, look, this is over here. It's quite a nice job. And you've also got PRs. They're the people that stand a bit outside the bar or the club. And they're the ones handing out leaflets saying, look, we've got this going on tonight. Come in. So they're the main, the first kind of line. And then you've got the hosts. If you also want to be like a dancer or a singer, you can even look into that. Although this might involve contacting the employer beforehand. But again, Ace Working Holidays can help you with that. The majority of these jobs are at night, but you can do the same thing in the day. Go around and see if they've got any day jobs. A great day job is actually being a ticket seller. Literally just standing at a stand, handing out some tickets just for maybe a few hours. You can do that in the day and then even have a night job. A lot of people do that. 
For girls, I recommend being a shot girl. It is a bit risky, but at the same time, you potentially can earn a lot more than in all the other jobs because you earn on commission. That means in most bars, if you're a shot girl, you'll earn about one euro per shot you sell, which is good. Say you sell 50 shots, that's 50 euros, bam. But on one night, it might be bad. You might only sell like 20 shots, but mm. it's comsi comsa. For the other jobs, you're most likely to get around 40 to 50 euros a night. But it's great because you don't actually have many working hours. And also, if you're a shot girl, you get to drink. <laughs> if you work in any of the other jobs, like bar staff, you're not allowed to drink until like past two or three a.m. in the morning. Do your research. Like, look for the obviously the bars with the environment type of environment you like, the type of people that go there. Check to see if they have any drink deals. The first bar I worked at as a shot girl, they had an all-inclusive drink deal, which was bad. They have one hour and the people can drink as much as they want. The bar that I worked at later just had a few deals with cocktails and stuff, but it was just like two for one and then that was it. You can also find that out on your job trial. On your job trial as a shot girl as well, you do get to keep your money, whereas if you're working as a bar staff on your job trial, you won't get paid. One other job I forgot to mention was actually just being kind of a party host. One of my friends that I went to Mallorca with, she did that and it's literally like three times a week. It's basically a bar crawl. All you have to do is go around with the people, groups of people, and just go to each bar with them and just be like, okay, we're moving on to this bar. That's the only thing you have to do and maybe play a few drinking games. You just have to pour drinks out. Like, you just have to give them drinks. You get to go to all the bars for free, all the clubs for free, get tokens for drinks. Like, honestly, there is not... I don't think there's a negative thing about doing that job. That, that is, like, the best job. But it's only, like, three times a week, so... The strip of all the clubs um, is like a community. You get to know basically all the workers. You get perks like getting into VIP of the clubs. You get workers discount. You can buy a wristband and that will get you lots of discount. There's so many perks to do in this type of work. And the great thing about these jobs is you can work literally if you wanted for the whole season from April to October. So the way I used to schedule my day, I used to go to work at 9 p.m. and finish at 4 a.m. Then afterwards, you normally go out clubbing. I would sleep till like 2 p.m., go to the beach, eat, and then go back to work. And it was literally like partying every day. Most jobs you get like one day off a week. For me, I don't think I would do it for a whole season, but for some people, that's what they want to do. I recommend Mallorca because it's the cheapest to live in and you earn the most. But the, all the other islands are beautiful. And to be honest, it, there's not much of a difference. Make sure you check out Ace Working Holidays website now. They are now recruiting for 2021 and it's already getting booked up because everyone is going hyper because literally obviously 2020 is not happening. <laughs> but 2021 is gonna be huge guys. I might even see you there. The reason going to Mallorca was a real stepping stone was that I had like my return flight booked. Like, so I knew after 28 days, I went for 28 days, that I was coming home so everything was safe and sorted, see my family. Going to the Bahamas was crazy because it's a one-way flight and that's it. And at the moment, what's even more scary is because of coronavirus, I don't know when I'll be coming home. There you go, that is a type of opportunity that you can also take. Obviously, there are so many different ways to work abroad and there's loads of videos on how you can, but I just wanted to go into detail into one of those examples, recommending my opinions and experience from doing that. Ace Working Holidays is just one of the companies that, that provides everything that I've gone through, but there are other ones out there, personally, that I have not used, but check them out as well. You stay in workers' accommodation, which isn't like a hotel as such, but the accommodation we were staying in was pretty decent and we even had basically a bar and a pool downstairs which was really nice you meet so many people i met so many people in just one month the next episode guys is going to be a detailed one we are going to go through a checklist of the things you need to make sure you do before you get on that flight everything that i had learned from mistakes of traveling, I'm gonna give you that. Whenever you travel, there will be mistakes. Things are going to go wrong, but I just want to give you a piece of my mind, hopefully save you some money, because I have lost a lot of money through traveling. It happens, guys, because the world is rude. So I'm just gonna be going through a checklist of things you need to do, because traveling is very fun, a great experience, but it's also 
potentially very dangerous and I want you to be safe out there. When this whole corona thing is over with, hopefully you can go global and yeah, make some great memories. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.